I love decorating for Christmas and it's super fun to add new items each year to refresh what you already have, but that can get expensive. So today I am bringing you with me. We are going thrifting. I am sharing my best tips and tricks as well as money saving hacks and DIYs to get that really pretty and polished high end Christmas look on a budget. This is Whiskey and Wit. My name is Whitney and a huge welcome to my craft buddies who come back week after week to DIY with me. If you're not already a craft buddy, just hit subscribe down below so you won't miss a future DIY or budget home decor video. Now I love looking to high-end stores to get inspiration and then heading to the thrift store to recreate the overall look and feel of those items for much cheaper. So that's what we're doing today and all of my DIY projects include easy to find everyday items so you could easily recreate them yourself. So what do you say? Let's go thrifting. Before you even step foot in the thrift store, my number one tip is to make a list of the items you're looking for. I just pop it into my notes app. In the same vein, give yourself a budget. It's really easy to be a kid in a candy store, but you don't want to just add volume. Look for good quality pieces that you will actually use and only buy the things that you truly love. If not, you'll end up donating back in a few months anyway. This way of thinking has really helped me. I also like to follow the one in one out rule when I go thrifting. So when I know I'm gonna go, I start filling a box with items I wanna donate and drop it off when I go to shop if that location takes drop off donations. Some don't, so be aware. I get asked a lot about which thrift stores I recommend. So near my house in Illinois, I have some Goodwills and Salvation Army stores, and I have to go out a little further to find a local thrift store, but those are my first choice if I can get to one. Specifically for Christmas decor, my best tip is to always be looking, not just during the holiday season. If you wait until late November or December, that's when everybody else is going to be looking for it and it will be decently picked over. So now is the time. Some thrift stores even hold back their holiday stuff and put it out November 1st after Halloween, so it's a great time to score. Also be aware that January is a good time because people are getting rid of the things they didn't use the prior year. Now, as you're browsing, keep an open mind. Give yourself ample time and be willing to dig. Sometimes you have to work for those finds. So look up high, down low, and under things. That's how I found this great tray for $350 that we'll be making over later in this video. Now, there may be items that you see that aren't stars right now, but if you can see past the color or dated elements, you can find some true winners. It's best to focus on timeless shapes, textures, and materials like wood, metals, and brass. All right, Whitney, so what would you buy? Well, sometimes you can get lucky and find nice winter blankets for decorative purposes, but one of my favorite hacks is to pick up scarves with great textures. You can add them to baskets with some greenery and then throw in a pillow for a fun addition to a shelf or a tabletop. Or if you want a more neutral look, you can add lights and some greenery picks and voila. I also like to drape the backs of chairs with scarves. These tassels make it look just like a blanket, but it's way cheaper and smaller to store in the off season. Wreaths and greenery can also be a great find secondhand. Remember, you can always remove ribbon or embellishments that don't match your taste if the bones are good. Frames are a great find secondhand, especially in a variety of sizes and materials. I tend to grab metallic frames for Christmas and they're great to showcase printable art, Christmas cards, vintage sheet music, and holiday photos. Now I have a ton of free Christmas printables over on my blog, including all three of these, so check the description for a link to download yours. Pitchers and vases are also a great buy for the holidays. Just fill them with some inexpensive greenery picks for a festive look. These are from Walmart. Now, easy items to grab and drop into any setup include holiday books and records, look at this cool packaging, and vintage sheet music, which is perfect for framing or using in DIYs. Chargers are also great to grab to help displays feel grounded. I saw these large wood plates, which checked my wood materials box, and I thought these would be great for the base of a Christmas vignette. You can add your items on top in odd numbers. I like threes or fives, and it totally warms up your space. Holiday wrapping supplies are also ripe for the picking now too. I like to grab wrapping paper, tissue paper, and ribbon that hasn't been opened to ensure you're getting a decent amount. Fun ornaments are great for present toppers, and this section isn't specific to Christmas. I also found some unopened burgundy color tool for a recent baby shower for 99 cents each. 
Ceramic houses, whether they're Christmas or not, are great to grab to make a modern winter scene. You can also do this with Dollar Tree houses too. I grabbed a variety that I liked and I spray painted them all white doing two to three light coats. I styled them with my new favorite Real Feel Garland from Walmart and some Christmas lights. This is great for a TV console, mantle, or depending on your setup above your kitchen cabinets. You can also do this with brown spray paint and some puffy fabric paint to make them look like gingerbread houses. I usually steer clear of soft surfaces like pillows and stuffed animals and also avoid items that you don't love and items that are broken or have defects or chips. You want to check, check, and then check again. Sometimes you might miss something, so that's why it's helpful to give yourself extra time when you're in the thrift store and then you're less likely to miss those kind of things. Now for 2022, vintage and retro Christmas decor is big in the stores and I found some fun real throwback items like these Coca-Cola Santa coasters for two bucks and this Budweiser Clydesdale Stein for under seven. I also love gingerbread decor. So this gingerbread platter and spoon rest were a must grab for me. I got them both for under $10. I always look at the holiday glassware and mugs because there are always fun finds to be had. I collect Santa mugs and nothing is better than finding one at a thrift store because it's super unique. This one I got for three bucks. Now with us having more room in our new house, I was also hunting for the perfect vintage seasonal dishes. Thrifting is a great way to find festive sets for entertaining, glasses to fill your Christmas bar, fun mugs, or colored glassware like this beautiful green piece. To style it, I just added some greenery picks from Walmart and some red ornaments I also found at the thrift store to create a super festive centerpiece. Red glass and white milk glass are also great options here, and this is a great time to also pick up some amber glass if you see it for next fall. Now everything I bring home I clean with dish soap and hot water and if you can't do that I recommend a disinfectant spray like this one from 7th generation that I use for things like baskets. It's an aerosol so it's not going to drench your item and it's also all natural making me feel good about using it around my son and my dog. For the coasters I wiped those down with Lysol wipes and all fabrics I buy get washed in my washing machine. I just check the tags to make sure that I'm giving them a proper care. Now up next, let's talk about this hidden gem at the thrift store in their cookware section. It's bunt pans and cake pans. Now if you can find a cake pan in a holiday shape like this tree, it's as simple as cleaning it and styling it. But I also grabbed a variety of sizes and shapes of bunt pans to create some faux candies for my gingerbread setup. I started by spray painting some white and some red, and then I went in with acrylic paint for the details. This one already had a snowflake pattern, so I just painted over that and I added white polka dots to this other one. Now for the white ones, I did curved lines for a peppermint and then also some straight stripes along the grooves of the pan. Once they were all dry, I wrapped them in Dollar Tree cellophane and tied it off with Baker's twine and ribbon. How stinking cute are these? You can also wrap a bump pan in fabric like I did here for a similar look if you don't want to have to do the paint. I tucked it into the center and used double stick tape to make sure it didn't move on me. Now this next baking DIY is also easy, but it's so fun. Grab a rolling pin and cover the large barrel with some Mod Podge and let it completely dry. Then cut a piece of fabric to the size of that section. You could also use tissue paper or scrap paper if you want and grab a heat source. Now I'm using my Cricut mini press, but you could also use an iron and I'm laying the fabric onto the rolling pin where I just put that Mod Podge and using medium heat to re-engage that Mod Podge and hook the fabric to the rolling pin. Now if you're doing tissue paper or scrap paper, I would suggest using a Teflon sheet or parchment paper between your paper and the heat just for safety and to not rip your paper and then once it's adhered you are all done you can add twine or embellishments and it's ready to be styled I also like to visit the figurines and collectibles in the store. I keep my eyes peeled for Christmas objects like angels, Santa, snowmen, sleighs, deer, and different shapes like trees, snowflakes, and peppermints. Those can yield some great items for your Christmas decor. And if you like the height, shape, or style of something, but not necessarily the color like I did with the Santa, you can always make it more modern with some spray paint. I use the color smoky beige on this guy and I love how it turned out. Super modern and more my style. This is also something you can do with items you already have, so don't forget to shop your home for DIYs as well. 
I also found some bells with some amazing wood handles that I knew I could make over. So I just grabbed some painter's tape and taped where the handle met the bottom of the bell. Then I added a plastic bag over the handle and taped it down to protect that wood. Now, depending on the design, you might have to prime with some white spray paint and then cover it in whatever color you want. I did silver and gold metallic along with a red bell and a white bell to show you a variety. And a wit tip is I did have to prime for the metallic ones. I did white spray paint underneath and I had to do four light coats of the red to cover the artwork. These are going to be great in vignettes all around my house and you could add ribbon, twine, or even a vinyl decal to make it your own. I have really wanted to dupe these West Elm vases so I picked up two different sizes of glass vases and got to work. I sprayed the inside of the vases with a metallic gold spray paint and then flipped them upside down to dry. Then I filled the spray bottle with about three quarters water to a quarter white vinegar and then grabbed some mirrored glass spray paint. I tried a few different techniques, but the one that I liked the best was when I sprayed the mirror glass spray paint onto the vase, and then I spritzed it with the water vinegar mixture from a distance. That created some little water droplets on the surface. For the first two coats, I used a paper towel to pop the water bubbles, and then on the third and final coat, I just let it dry completely with the water on the surface, and that gave it a great look. I let it completely dry overnight, and I added these LED candles from Amazon, but you could also add a real one, and bam, West Elm dupe for under five bucks. The glow just feels like Christmas to me. I like to check the candle aisle for LED candles when I'm at the thrift store. I found so many amazing large ones for way cheaper than at the regular store. And I also love to pick up a variety of candlesticks to add height to my decor. I even found these crate and barrel ones for under seven bucks for the pair. Now brass is a material that I love in Christmas decor because it looks amazing when the lights reflect off of it, but you need to be picky because it can get expensive. So I recently duped the brass look with some rub and buff in a previous thrifting video. So you can check that out for more details. I'll link it down below and up in the iCards. I found this horn and fell in love with it for Christmas. So I refreshed it with some of my champagne gold spray paint. And that is another option to keep an object shiny with full coverage. And it's a great shelf sitter placed next to an angel or you can even put it on a wreath. While you're in the candle aisle, let me show you how you can make some fun evergreen tree candles that you can leave up all winter long. I found these green candles and I put them in a bowl with hot water. I let them soak submerge for about two minutes to soften them up. And then I took a knife carefully and started to mold the candle into a tree shape. I did one pass around and then for the next layer, I added it in between the top two so that it created a cascading look. These fit great in these Dollar Tree candlesticks I already had and I love them. These turned out way better than I even expected. Now vintage crocs are big in farmhouse decor, but if you get them from a boutique, they are super, super expensive. Sometimes you can find them at the thrift store with personalizations on it like this one, but honestly with it turned around, you would never know. So just put a small tree in it, make sure it's turned around. This one's from Target and boom, a trendy tree holder. Or just add some greenery and your rolling pin from earlier and it's great for your kitchen. If you can't find crocs in the store, grab a utensil holder and just make one. Start with a tan base color. I use smoky beige. Then add a layer of textured stone spray paint from Rust-Oleum to get the stoneware look. Then I just seal it with a polycrylic and you can use them just the same. Baskets can also be used in the same way. This round one fits this tree perfectly and it adds some texture to a setup. When I find a good tray, it's hard for me to leave it at the thrift store and this one was half off so I got it for $3.50 and I knew I could remove the vinyl to create something more my style. So I pulled off all the vinyl and sanded down the adhesive left behind and then I painted the base with black chalk paint and finished it off with this fun hot cocoa and Griswold themed decal. I kind of did a Frankenstein of a few different files that I had. I love it though. I'm going to seal it with a polycrylic so I could use it either as a tray or a sign as it's set up on its side like this. You can also do this with signs you find secondhand or on clearance. Just paint it to get a clean slate and then you can either add a decal or paint on a design. And don't worry, I've got all of my Christmas vacation DIYs for 2022 coming your way shortly. I've got a couple things I'm waiting for in the mail and then it will be coming out very, very soon. That's gonna do it for today's video. Be sure to head down to the comments and let me know your favorite tip or project I shared today. I've also got a full thrift playlist on how you can dupe higher end things, not just for Christmas, but all year round. So check that out. Thanks so much for watching. Hit subscribe if you're new so you don't miss a future video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.